Hello everyone and welcome to another video from the Tiny Menagerie. Bright yellow is not the most common of colours in the aquarium hobby, but if that's what you're looking for, then the diminutive Honey Garami fits the bill with its striking deep yellow body colour with a slight flame tinge along its fins. It is certainly a fish that stands out from the crowd and it has a lovely little character to boot, but what do they like to keep and what kind of setup do they need? Well, the original honey garami hails from the waterways of India and Bangladesh, where they inhabit dark, shady waters that are dense with vegetation, both living and dead, and with plenty of overhead cover. This being the case, they are very much a fish that likes being able to retreat from view, and they will spend about half of their time hidden away somewhere in the shadows of the tank, and the other half out in the open looking for food. Honey Garami also tend to spend most of their time in the mid-levels or near the surface of the tank, rather than towards the substrate, and so ideally you'll be wanting taller decorations or plants such as Rotala or the longer Cryptocarini species, anything really that is going to reach right up to the water surface. This will provide your fish with enough cover that they feel nice and safe, and so long as they do have somewhere to hide away, then honeys are very easy to accommodate as they only grow to a maximum length of about 2 inches. And they're also not especially active neither, so a tank of 40 litres is absolutely fine for a pair or small group. Although, speaking of group size, generally the advice around honeys is to keep them with about 4 to 6 members of their own kind. But if I am perfectly honest, I have never found this to work for very long. As soon as they reach breeding age and the males start setting up territories to impress the females, then I tend to find my little group becomes more of a little war zone, with males constantly battling each other for the best spaces and picking on any females that enter into their territory. This can lead the females and the less dominant males to being harassed until they hide and refuse to come out in the open, which isn't any fun for anyone. And so now, I keep my honeys in pairs. That way they have company, they can see there is another member of their species with them, but there is less tension between them as they can easily get away from each other and break line of sight if they need to. You can no doubt keep honey garamis in a much larger group as they are not actively aggressive towards each other, they don't hunt each other down or anything like that, just make sure each has enough space to do its own thing without getting chased all the time. But as long as they are happy and not constantly squabbling with each other, then honey garami are a very appealing little fish as they have a really cute personality. They are one of these fish that has a very pointed way of watching you through the glass. They are often right up at the front, staring out with these puppy dog eyes that seem to be desperately trying to telepathically communicate with you, instilling thoughts of feed the fish in your mind. But while they do like to look out at you, Honeys don't have that very annoying, frantic begging behaviour that some species can develop. They're always really quite calm and chill about it. But perhaps that calmness does somewhat betray their true nature, as like a lot of the Garamis, honeys are masterful hunters, often prowling around in dark places looking for something unlucky to eat. Fortunately though, as the honey itself is a very small fish, so is their prey, and while they will happily remove any small shrimp or fry that you don't want, they are completely harmless towards any full-grown fish, even the very smallest of the micro rasboras, making them perfectly suitable for a community tank with other small fish. And honey garami are a surprisingly hardy tropical species as well. They can be kept very comfortably in a wide range of temperatures, from as low as 20 degrees all the way up to 28 degrees, and they are very accommodating when it comes to pH, happily living in very acidic water with a pH as low as 5, or going all the way up as high as 8.5. What they are not too fond of though, is flow rate. While they are a very agile swimmer, they are able to hover perfectly motionless while they are hunting for insects or shrimplets amongst the foliage, they are not the strongest of swimmers, and they really don't appreciate a strong flow. In fast flowing water, you will usually find them hiding somewhere in an eddy so that they don't get washed away. And so if you do have a tank that has a fast flow in it, it's got a current that is strong enough that you can see the fish are actively swimming against it, then honey garami are not the fish for you. A gentle current is fine, and no current is fine as well, but they are not going to be happy living in a strong current all the time. 
but it is acceptable so long as it's not there all the time. I actually have a Pat Mini filter in this tank and when it's on full blast it really gets the water moving. But I only put it on when I feel like it and never more than two hours at a time. A tank with this many plants in really doesn't need a filter and I just like watching the water flow sometimes. And so when I do want to put the water on, the honeys just have to duck out of the way and wait for the current to go away. No doubt they're not very impressed by this, but it doesn't do them any harm as it's only for a short period of time. Feeding your gourami is also a relatively pain-free task as they are greedy little fish who will eat absolutely anything that will fit in their mouth. They are just a little bit slow about it, and they can take a moment to even notice that there is food in the tank especially if they're off in the plants at the time, and so if you have very fast, darting tank mates in there with them, danios, tetras, anything like that, then you will just need to make sure your honeys are actually getting something to eat, and not always arriving too late to get any scraps. Believe me though, you will know when they've not had any food for a little while, because that's when the staring really begins. Overall though, honey gourami are a lovely species of fish to keep. They have both great character and that coveted deep yellow golden coloration. And of course, they're also very accommodating to different tank parameters because they originate from an area that's prone to floodwaters and such, making them an ideal fish for most setups. Anywho though, I hope you have enjoyed this little video all about honey gourami. Happy fish keeping everyone and I will see you again soon. Bye bye!